Nike Craft Tom Sachs general purpose shoe in the archive dark sulfur colorway. Tom Sachs is just one of my favorite modern artists. His approach to his craft is incredibly inspiring. And it's because he blends really, you know, this these skills of like a handyman, like operating out of his garage, using hand tools, power tools, a bit of glue, some screws, and some ingenuity. And he couples that with this brilliant creativity that illuminates and comments on the relationship that we have, you know, underneath the surface with what we produce and what we consume in our culture. So he's a very powerful artist. And I really like him because, you know, he's the type of person when someone asks him what his favorite restaurant is in a place like New York City where he lives, his answer is McDonald's because of how, you know, the golden arches have profoundly shaped not just modern meals, but modern industry and modern America. And so one of my favorite pieces, in fact, is his food cart, you know, that's a McDonald's that can actually, uh, you know, produce on the spot a McDonald's value meal. And, and that's the type of artist Tom is. He's a great designer. He, he wants things to be functional and have a utility and uh, you know having these components that he adds to his work in order to transcend this idea of imitation and kind of transcend into something that's real and authentic but yet distinct even though it imitates something and I, I think this whole idea that he centers around is called sympathetic magic the act of creating something that resembles something else in order to create a connection or correspondence to it and perhaps in that process uh, create a category that's unto itself, something that may have more meaning, may have more influence, and even share or tell a new bit of truth. So these shoes sort of represent really an extension of Tom Sachs's ideals and values and his aesthetics. And that's why I was so interested in getting a pair. Uh, but I took a lot of L's on release day. I know that these were really, really hard to get. And yet I was able to get these for a decent price on the resale market. So let's dive into the all, all the aspects of this sneaker and talk about what uh, the shoe means to me and why I think it's a really cool shoe. Okay. Okay, first of all, Nike Craft shoes are manufacturers to the exact specifications of champion athletes throughout the world. Yes. Awesome. Oh, I love the 10 bullets right here on the inside of the box. Do you see that? If you know anything about Tom Sachs, you should watch the 10 Bullets video created in collaboration with Van Neistat. Okay, here are the shoes. Oh. Anything else? First of all, here's the orange box with Tom Sachs' distinct handwriting and design aesthetics on it. I heard on the Ritual Podcast uh, interview with Van Neistat that there's a childlikeness of Tom Sachs in all of his work, and that is a meticulous intentionality. It's a design language that is meant to evoke its own authenticity as something being built by hand. So let's dive into the sneaker itself. So excited to have these in hand. They feel so much better than you would think for being such a simple, almost thin sneaker. There's a lot of robustness to this sneaker that I'm feeling right now. By the way, before we dive into this particular sneaker, I don't normally like reading the official marketing descriptions, but I think this one is interesting. And I think, you know, I'm sure Nike and Tom Sachs uh, had a hand in the messaging and I thought it was a fantastic you know, paragraph. It says, just because you can doesn't always mean you should. Resist newness for newness' sake. Build on a proven foundation and innovate incrementally. Study what came before, its shape, its weight, its colors, who it's for and what it does. Use, observe, design, build, test, fail, repeat. 
true development is the practice of continuous refinement. And if you haven't seen the main piece of marketing for this shoe, I'll, I'll, I'll post it right now. Above this quote in big, bold letters is creativity is the enemy. This is the idea from Tom Sachs's 10 bullets, which are his core principles uh, to his work and to his studio and to his team. I highly recommend it if you haven't seen the actual video for it. I'll link it in the description below. The first bullet is work to code. And this is related to creativity is the enemy. And it means adhering to the current system of production already in place. This is where the idea creativity is the enemy come from because what it actually means is something akin to, you gotta stay on the ranch before you venture out. You gotta learn the basics. You gotta know what's going on. In that sense, the GPS, the general purpose shoe, represents to me a style and shape of getting back to code. You know, just from the onset, it really does look like a shoe that's been deconstructed and stripped down to barely the essentials because of just how simple and how transparent the shoe is. When I look at the shoe, I just really love sort of the minimal design aesthetic that it has. Um, because that in itself requires a lot of thoughtfulness. It requires a lot of uh, hard decision making when it comes to adding tech or adding features or adding components. Let's start with the, the upper. Um, you get this archive colorway, which is Tom Sachs's dark sulfur. And the overall look of it, so you get the, this like hit of orange. You know, maybe there's some of that McDonald's like influence on the sneaker, but I really enjoy this, you know, golden yellow. It's a little bit muted. Uh, it's, you know, there's some panels that are darker, but overall a really thick yellow, which I really appreciate. Apparently this upper material is a fabric that is a little bit water resistant, but also very breathable. Um, you can look on the outer portions of the upper, you get suede, which is really nice. And the suede feels okay. It's not long haired. Um, it's not the softest suede I've ever felt, but um, I think that's real, it's real suede. And so you get it on the eyelets, you get it on the mud guard, and you'll also get it on the two heel panels as well as you get a, a bridge strip here near the midsole. And, and then you have some overlays, which is really interesting. You have this uh, more mustard colored overlay on the front, uh, but then you also get this Nike swoosh, both on the lateral and medial side uh, in that same overlay material, which I really like. I like that white uh, swoosh. It gives it, it a little bit of nice uh, white pop in the middle of the, of the sneaker. I already mentioned it, but you get this orange herringbone nylon uh, tongue tab, uh, pull tab, that you can use to put on your sneakers really well. Uh, both aesthetically pleasing as well as very functional. The tongue itself is this uh, cream mesh that I really like. You have that uh, white tongue tag that has Nike swoosh. Um, and then the, the pull tab runs through it. And then on the back of it, you get uh, Tom Sachs's signature as well as his, uh, this thing that he does a lot, which is put a serial number on pretty much everything that he makes, which I think is great. It's also in his handwriting, which is really cool. On the back of the heel, you get Nike with a box around it, debossed into the heel. That's clearly also Tom Sachs's uh, handwriting, which is really cool. On the inside of the sneaker, there is some interesting details going on. You get some padding here on the, on the inside of the heel. Um, I think this, this, this fabric feels really nice. It's like microfiber. The insole feels almost like glued in, I think. Yeah, it's like glued in, but it's it's a pretty thick piece of insole. And I heard that the cup sole is like a, a three-piece cup sole fused together. And then you got this midsole, which is in this cream color, and then the outsole is the black rubber in that waffle style outsole, which is really cool. It has Nike Craft on 
the bottom. Lastly, you get these nice ribboned cream laces. And I think that pretty much is it. I think I've seen all the details. Anyways, last thoughts. These sneakers are going to be in my rotation. Great work shoe, great everyday shoe, great dad shoe. Um, I'm really excited to put them on and wear test them. And I'm gonna make a separate video in the future where I've like, you know, I've worked really hard to test these sneakers out. Whether it's an adventure into the city, whether it's going on a hike. Uh, so you'll see me vlog about that in the near future. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you have these in your uh, collection, what you've what you've thought of them so far. If you're still in the market for them, I think this particular archive dark sulfur uh, colorway is you know affordable, still fair and relatively easy to get. And so this is a good time to get them. I might even double up. I really like this shoe a lot. It just fits the way that I like to look. And so, yeah, love them. And so thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.